We begin with breaking news tonight. Police arrested more than a half dozen protesters just after nine o'clock tonight on the campus of the University of Tennessee. This follows two days of demonstrations on campus about the ongoing war overseas between Israel and Hamas. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman joining us live once again with an update on those arrests and the scene behind you now, Maria. Yes, John, as you mentioned, about 10 people were arrested today. Knoxville police made those they made those arrests and they have placed now a fence surrounding the lawn where students were gathering and sitting. Now, the school did give students a 930 p.m. deadline to either leave the lawn or face the consequences for the students who decided to stay. They were arrested and now they will be charged with a misdemeanor for trespassing. Students gather here since this morning. The atmosphere was peaceful throughout the day. I saw students reading, studying and standing in solidarity with the people of Palestine's students in conversation. The students were in conversation with school leaders throughout the day. They met at least twice and students leaders say they want to remain peaceful. I spoke to a freshman who was born in Palestine and says he showed up for his people and his country. Ultimately, it's my people, and I just want to be here and support it and, you know, hopefully make a change, make a statement that we don't support genocide and that we want, you know, our country to be free. And students are calling the school for three main actions, and those are one, to pressure the school to disinvest from companies who have ties to Israel, two, to cut their study abroad program in Israel, and three, protect students' freedom of speech. There are innocent people dying every day, and they have been for almost the past 75 years, almost every day, and I just don't think that's okay. And people first showed up to campus Wednesday morning and stayed in campus throughout the day. They eventually dispersed by Wednesday night. Now, for the people who were not arrested, um, they have gathered in small groups and they're now marching throughout the campus. The school did advise them that they can continue to march um, and continue to speak up as long as they remain in these sidewalks right here. In the meantime, I'll send things back to you, John. Maria Guzman, live for us on the University of Tennessee campus tonight. Thank you, Maria.